In this video, we are going to understand about the concept of algebraic identities. Now, you've seen a lot of algebraic equations. Let us take an algebraic equation x plus 2 into x plus 4 is equal to x square plus 6x plus 8. Suppose you are told about this algebraic equation. Now let us equate some values here. Let's say x is equal to 5. So what do I get here? 5 plus 2. Here I get 5 plus 4 is equal to 5 square plus 6 into 5 plus 8. Or I get 7 into 9 which is 63 is equal to 5 square 25 plus 6 into 5 gives me 30 plus 8. If I take a sum of these three, 63 is equal to 63. So we say that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Let's take a value of x as 3 here and put it in this equation. So what do I get here? 3 plus 2, which is equal to 5, into 3 plus 4, which is equal to 7, is equal to 3 square, which is nothing but 9, plus 6 into 3, which is 18 plus 8. Or 5 into 7 is equal to 35 is equal to 9 plus 18 gives me 27 plus 8 gives me 35. Now in this equation basically you know unlike an equation which is true for some values this particular stuff that we have which is called an identity is true for any value of x. Whatever value of x you put here, the left hand side will always be equal to the right hand side. So this kind of an equation, this kind of a note is called an identity or an algebraic identity. I will take you through various kinds of algebraic identity in other different videos and take a problem on each one of them. But in an algebraic identity, for whatever value you might put into the variable, always the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. 